KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Friday, August 31st, last day of meteorological summer. How about that? But it's going to feel like summer for a while. We all know that. It can be very hot here in September. A few scattered showers and storms around. And the tropics are interesting. Here we go. This is the upper air look. That's pretty much what you expect in late August. The westerlies are north of here. We have a flat ridge across the deep south and a moist, unstable air mass. That's the visible satellite view. Pockets of convection all across the deep south. So far today, the most widespread activity down across the southern half of the state. In North Alabama, showers are fairly widely spaced. That was at 233, and uh, the clouds have been fairly persistent today, so the air not as unstable as it could be. You can see temperatures are in the 80s, only 81 up at Fort Payne, Birmingham at 86. We'll maintain the chance of scattered showers through the evening hours. Around the nation, very seasonal for August 31st with cool air up in Canada. Temperatures in the 80s and 90s down here across the southern states. There's the watch warning map. We have a few pockets with flash flood watches for parts of Wisconsin and up around Baltimore. But generally speaking, things are quiet. We do have a chance of severe storms for parts of the upper Midwest for the rest of today and tonight. This is tomorrow. Got a marginal risk across the heartland. And on day three, which is Sunday, a marginal risk for Iowa and some of the adjacent states. And again, we stay in the green. That means the chance of thunderstorms, but organized severe weather not expected. Here's the rain for the next seven days. The most widespread rain, at least heavy rain, will probably be well to the north of here across parts of the Midwest. Also, we note some potential for heavier rain down in the northern Gulf of Mexico with a tropical wave that could be a player next week. In Alabama, the amounts under one half inch for the north, over one inch for the south. And the tropics getting pretty active here. We've got a tropical or potential tropical cyclone number six out there near the Cape Verde Islands. That will be Tropical Storm Florence pretty soon. And then we have the tropical wave near Hispaniola. And again, the wave will be headed for the Gulf of Mexico. Now, conditions do not favor any strengthening for the next five days, only a 10% chance of developing. But once that thing gets down here in the backyard, we'll have to watch that. Uh, the main impact one way or the other, probably some enhanced rain chances for the central Gulf Coast toward the latter part of next week. No impact for the Labor Day weekend. And in terms of uh, TD6, should be Florence any time, maybe by the time you watch this video. Should be a hurricane by Wednesday morning of next week, beginning to gain latitude. And the question is, will that thing recurve? Uh, here's a look at the model output. This is the uh, GFS Ensemble. And uh, the mean shows a pretty good northward bend. That's the uh, uh, black line you see there. But we stress not all members recurve this. A few keep it kind of trucking towards the west-northwest. So there's still some uncertainty. But again, typically, when you see those higher latitude systems, they do recurve. So we'll be watching that over the weekend. All right, let's check the uh, western Pacific. That's a nasty-looking uh, uh, super typhoon right there. This thing is called Jebby. Uh, this thing is packing sustained winds of 170 miles an hour, a super typhoon. Category 5. And uh, this will be weakening and coming up toward Japan next week. Should be much weaker by then, making a transformation to a kind of a post-tropical system. But still, that could be a fairly high-impact event, considering some of the big population centers involved in that. And we'll keep an eye on that as well. All right, model fans, let's go. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, ballot tomorrow at 1. Trough in the west, ridge in the east. And not a lot of change. Tomorrow, partly sunny, highs, upper 80s, maybe a few scattered showers during the afternoon. Sunday looks relatively dry, just a small chance of a shower. Highs 87 to 90, a partly sunny sky. And next week looks pretty quiet for the northern half of the state. Could there be a shower? Yes, but they should be pretty isolated. That's Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. The better coverage of showers and storms down south near the Gulf. And again, there should be a tropical wave down there. This is Thursday. Then a week from today, this is Friday, September 7th. And again, if you're looking for a cool air blast, not with that pattern. That's a, still a ridge over us. And again, partly sunny, maybe a few scattered afternoon showers or storms, if that's right. Highs next week, I'd say 88 to 91 on most days. We'll go out 10 days, Monday, September 10th. Still got the upper high nearby. Pattern not changing much. Partly sunny, muggy, only isolated showers. Numbers, fall fans not liking that. They're seeing, uh, you're seeing a lot of low 90s on that board. Uh, again, I'd say highs 
It might be a little too hot for the weekend. I think we'll be somewhere between 87 and 90 just about every day for the next 10 to 15 days, which is not that far from average for this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. My next video will be posted here Monday morning at 7 o'clock. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders. We'll have these updates tomorrow and Sunday. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless. Don't let your AC system get knocked out by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion. So give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.